what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're checking out vikings season five episode two is here today and i have to say i am ready to see what is going to be the aftermath of everything um see much in episode one just basically what the fallout was of season four of ivar killing his brother and to see where they're going next. So we see a lot of madness going on, right? A lot of madness. Ivar and Uber over there trying to take over some other territory, get a stronghold over there in England. Um, also, this new character, um, you know, this new character, this new priest or whatever you want to call him. Very conflicted one. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to jump into this episode and see where they're taking this how things are going to go down because if this dude is going to be going up against ragnar's sons he's better be prepared because they have a huge army over there so they're kind of taking a stronghold close to home close to kattegat not knowing what's going on over there with king that um the king that you know that went back thinking Oh, he was going back to some sweet Kattegat glory. But little does he know that Lagatha is already taking care of that threat. Um, so, let's go see what the aftermath of everything is. See you guys for the review. Alrighty then. So here we go. Episode 2. Season 5, Vikings, man. I have a lot to do today. A lot to do today. Um, so so that you guys can have these on Thursday. But anyways, man. Vikings episode, Season 5, Episode 2 was great. There's a lot there. I don't know what's going on with Floki. <laughs> His scenes are weird. The gods are communicating with him somehow. I don't know what they're going to tell him to do. But now we got Aetherwolf and the Priest. Hooking back up, the army is going to be stronger when they go to York to take on the Sons of Ragnar, right? So, that is brewing. It's just, it's interesting, though, that Alfred had this communication with his dad and then told him, hey, you need to go to York. That's where the people are. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, I mean, at this point... I don't even know who to cheer for. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not biased towards any of them. I just, at this point, I'm just enjoying the show because they kill two, they kill off two of the most interesting characters in the show in Ragnar and Egbert, which was, you get what I'm saying? It was very clear who I wanted to win. You know what I'm saying? But now there's no clear vision. You know what I'm saying? There's no clear vision as to really what's going on. We just got to... Um, it's only two episodes into season five, so I don't want to jump to conclusions yet towards this season. Um, so Because it's only two episodes. They're building up to something. So I'm watching to see what that is going to be. But now King Aether Wolf is sitting in his rightful place, not being trodden down, living amongst the dregs and stuff. Now he's with, you know, his... his he's in his rightful place i don't know it seems like there's a tension between him and the priest already it seems like the priest didn't really want him there but i think he's grateful that he's there at the same time so it's kind of weird i'm trying to read their body language towards each other doesn't it kind of seems like the priest is worried about something i don't know what it is um i don't know what it is it could not be tension it could be something else but i'm guessing they're going to explain it as they go along but i'm definitely definitely looking forward to seeing more of this season because it's boiling to a point what's going on back at Kattegat is another story with King Harold getting away escaping taking Hastrid with him and offering her basically the world now if you know you know what I'm saying like people will offer you the world for you to betray your friends your family you know um it happens it happens you know what I'm saying so it's up to you if you want to do it because everybody you know what i'm saying everybody at some point in their life has been burdened with choice you know what i'm saying so um you have to choose and i think astrid is going to choose to be with king harold i really do think so she's leaning towards he's trying to put up a good fight but i think she's leaning towards it 
um, very heavily. So Lagatha is worried about her, but she's not. She's kind of like holding off and be like, I'll always be loyal to Lagatha, but at the same time, you look like you hesitated. So what's going to happen next? I have no clue. Not a magician, can't tell the future. Anyway, but anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, just remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and also leave a comment in the comment section. And I will catch you guys later. As I said, there's not much to divulge here. Just watching these things develop. The story for the season hasn't really been plumped up yet. So I'll have longer v reviews coming up in the future. Of course, once the season starts to really get going. And we have more to talk about. But for now, we're just kind of, everybody just kind of waiting, plotting. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're going to attack. So I'll catch you guys later, man. Short review. Thank you guys for checking it out. I will catch you guys later. Peace.